All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Hythera Planet Pack, which is being made by form user Duna Maniac. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a lovely new planet to the edge of the stock solar system with a number of delightful moons. So let's uh, jump on into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now, while zooming out to the new extent of our star system here, I do of course need to mention prerequisites. This is a planet pack, so you are going to need Copernicus for this to function. But with that installed, you get this just really weird, fun new orbit of our new planet, which if we zoom on into, you can see is quite a lovely a large gas giant with a number of moons. And of course, the name of that gas giant is Hythera, which is quite large at a radius of 1,818 kilometers with a gravity of 1.25 Gs with an atmosphere, but it is a gas giant, so it's not one you're going to want to explore. And I mean, look at this thing. It is gorgeous. I love the blue color of this, and of course, it has a ring. Very, very faint rings, but rings nonetheless that just make it all the much better. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for a ringed world, and this is quite a good one. And what's better than a ringed world, but a moon going through those rings? And that brings us to our first moon, of Riaz. Now this is much smaller at only 75 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.094 g's with of course no atmosphere to speak of. And this one as you can see is just well, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's just sitting right there, flying through the rings, and offers a just absolutely gorgeous view of Hythera down there. Probably my favorite place to visit in this whole pack, just because of those really cool views. I mean, how couldn't you love it? Now, moving on, of course, we do have a couple more moons. The next is the much larger moon, of Lowell. Now, Lowell is a 200 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0 0.35 g's and once again with no atmosphere present. And it's just a big old frozen wasteland down there with some pretty interesting topography. I love just the large, general, flat, frozen wastelands dotted by these larger mountain range sort of islands here. And all all in all is just a very good looking. I mean, it's very white, so it's gonna be really bright for any explorers down there, but it's just cool. And a lovely little addition to this little system. Now, the next moon that we have is even larger than this one, and that is the moon of Gaul. Now, Gaul is 400 kilometers in size with a gravity of 1.2 Gs, once more with no atmosphere to speak of, and is one of the more interesting looking planets on this. As you can see, you know, you go from these very smooth swaths of different colors to, you know, some, a little bit more coloration over here to all these interesting canyons over this way, sprawling out all over. It's it's a very unique planet with a lot of cool places to go and explore on the surface. And like with all of the planets and moons in this, it's actually pretty interesting. There's a lot of lore-wise information about all of these, which is really nice. I mean, you can see it's just a wall of text here. It is pretty cool. Uh, but what's even more interesting about Gaul here is it's a moon with a moon and uh yeah that's that's fun i mean who doesn't like a moon inside of a moon that's just wonderful now that moonlit i think is the right word is nemesis and it is extraordinarily tiny at 15 kilometers in radius with a gravity to match of 0 0.009 g's and once again of course 
with no atmosphere to speak of. And it's just a cool looking rock. I love the colors on this one. You know, most of this system is fairly... I don't want to say bland because we got the cool blue rock, but then everything else is mostly a lot of whites and grays with a few little splashes of red over here, which of course, you know, this. <laughs> so you just get to the full on red, which is a very cool and it's just a very nice craggy little rock for you to go and explore, which is a pretty cool. And again, just like everything else, it's, you know, got some good information to it, which is wonderful. But yeah, that is it for all of the planets. And, well, the one planet, three moons, and a moonlit. I, I'm actually still not entirely sure that's the right word, but it's a moon with a moon. Great. So let's take a look over at my Viewmatic satellite around. Why is it not letting me click? Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Around Riaz, where again, there's just that... A oh, stunning view here. I mean, just look at that. You get the cool moon here in the background with some of the rings and that beautiful blue gas giant down below you. It's just an amazing sight. It's one of the reasons I love ring planets in general. They tend to give you some really cool visuals, but then you add on to it, this just beautiful bright blue moon with the contrast of this dull gray planet here or did i say blue moon no blue gas giant there we go with the dull gray moon there now nicely corrected uh it's just an absolutely spectacular sight and a wonderful one for all of you to go and explore so if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual but that my friends is gonna be it for this episode today hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next episode where hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one